Hi, this is Brian Schiff with Functionally Fit. In the prior column, I demonstrated an exercise called the wall sit to work on isometric strengthening of the quadriceps. This is a progression of that, moving from a squat position to a split squat. So again, this is an excellent way to really work on strength uh, in the lower extremity. We're kind of targeting the quadriceps for those clients that might have trouble with traditional lunges, hinging, if you will. So we will have the client position initially on the floor. We put the left leg forward, our right foot is back. So we're in the split stance position. And then we're going to instruct them to drop down to a range of motion again that's both pain free for this front leg and back leg and comfortable where we can start to activate the quadriceps. And we're just going to have the client hold for time, initially about 30 seconds working in a range of motion that is safe and pain-free for them. And when that time is up, they would come up out of it, then we would switch legs. So as far as progressions, obviously you can increase time under tension to really put more load on the muscle. Uh, as long as they have good prerequisite amount of balance and stability, we can advance them to what I would uh, call a rear foot elevated isometric split squat. Initially, I'll provide a foam roll or something just for a little bit of balance for them so we can get them you know, up on the right position, again upright, and then they're coming down and now I've got a little less stability and they've got the foam roller here just to maintain balance if necessary. If they have a slight loss of balance or they have trouble with the trunk, okay, if that becomes pretty easy, then we can take that completely away and progress to one without upper extremity support. And then if we wanted to advance even further, we could add external load. So we could again go to a weight, uh, weighted vest. We could have them hold dumbbells. Uh, we could also even get more advanced and go arms across the shoulders and try to decrease any kind of stability they may have from the arms themselves. So you'll find that this is a really good way to strengthen the leg target the quadriceps, you're going to get some glute uh, and hamstring activation as well, but we do this isometrically so we're not hinging up and down, we're taking stress off of the knee joint, so it can be a way to build strength, to work on frontal plane stability, cueing them to maintain good trunk alignment, avoid that dynamic valgus, and it allows them to build strength without really creating any compressive force on the knee with repetitive isotonic movements. So again, good one to keep in mind for those clients who might be struggling with a little bit of anterior knee pain, Maybe they can't do traditional lunges. I think you'll find this is a nice way to build strength.